AI has become a superpower for YouTubers. If you're tired of spending hours tweaking titles, thumbnails, and studying your channel data to get more views, the three tools in this video does all of that for you in the blink of an eye. And the insane part is they install straight into your YouTube studio, so you don't even have to leave YouTube for these tools to start helping you get more views. Let's jump in. Okay, starting off, take a look at this graph showing views on one of the videos on this channel here. You'll see that around here, views on my video shot up crazily. All I did here was change the title that was being used for this video. And this tweet right here says it perfectly. YouTube titles are amazing because just five to 10 words can be the difference between 100 or 100,000 views. That's how important using the right title for our YouTube videos is. But the problem is writing a good title takes skill. It's a skill set we have to develop. And lots of people think they're better at writing YouTube titles than they actually are. I've been studying viral videos for the last 12 to 18 months now trying to get better at writing titles myself. And it's only now when I look back, I see how bad I was a year and a half ago. But at the time, I thought I was good at it. So with that in mind, check out this first AI tool. It's called Title Generator. And the way it works is for any of your videos, it takes your existing title and generates improved titles down here using AI. You'll see there's four improved titles at the moment, and you can just generate these improvements over and over again by pressing this refresh button and having new titles generated instantly. The AI creates these title rewrites at the level of quality of a professional copywriter and helps you come up with ideas that you never would have had yourself. I found a few great titles using this method, which I've been able to just switch out on my old videos and test to see if the new titles see any improvement on my views. I'm gonna show you how to access that title generator tool next when I run you through the next thumbnail tool because those two tools actually come together in a single installation in your YouTube studio. So nice and easy. Cool, so moving on to thumbnails, check out this tweet from a large YouTube channel. It says titles and thumbnails are more important than the video. And what he means by that is you can make the best video in the world, but if the title and the thumbnail suck, no one's gonna click on that video to watch it in the first place. And just like how most people aren't naturally good at writing titles, Unfortunately, most people suck at making good YouTube thumbnails too. So the next tool is called Thumbnail Analyzer. It's made by a company called TubeBuddy. And how this works is it shows me the current thumbnail right here that is being used for the video I'm currently looking at. And I can upload different attempts at this design into the tool down here. And you'll see it analyzes the different designs and tells me if a new design is an improvement so it's saying this thumbnail is 247% better than the previous cut thumbnail I'm currently using. And the other design that I created is 57% less effective. So this AI tool just kind of gives you guidance in learning what makes a good thumbnail rather than just shooting in the dark like people were before. So really powerful thumbnail tool there and really powerful title tool at the start. You'll find the thumbnail analyzer here above the upload thumbnail area and you'll find title generator button right under here underneath your title for your video. And as I said, these two tools are both made by TubeBuddy. So when you install TubeBuddy, these buttons will be automatically added into your YouTube studio. I'll run you through how to install TubeBuddy in just a second. But Say you've used AI tools like these to come up with titles and thumbnails and meant to be better. How can you prove that those titles and thumbnails are better than the originals that you were using? The same way we can use our channel data to find ideas for new videos that can get us lots of views. Spoiler, the next tool is gonna help us do that. We can also use our channel data to prove whether new titles and thumbnails are better. And if we just switch back to the screen with the TubeBuddy plugin that installs those first two AI tools, if we click on this tab over here, we can actually run a test and have the plugin automatically test either our new titles or our new thumbnails for us 
analyze the data automatically and come back with a winner. So the screen you're seeing now is how you set up a title test. I can test this title against this new AI generated variant that has just come up. And if I go back, I'll show you this a bit more step by step with a thumbnail example. So if I wanted to test a different thumbnail for this video using the TubeBuddy test feature, I would just choose I'm testing a thumbnail, choose how long I want the test to run through. So I'm going to leave this on the default of 14 days, two weeks, starting today. And I can test different things for that thumbnail. For now, I just want to test to see which thumbnail gets the highest click-through rate in those 14 days. So I'll press next on that selection. I can upload an alternative thumbnail I want to test. I've just uploaded this thumbnail here. And if I press start test, this TubeBuddy plugin would go away test these two thumbnails against each other for that 14 days and at the end by studying the data and which thumbnail had the high click through rate it would assign the strongest thumbnail out of the two as the permanent thumbnail for that video which is just amazing because in the past i've had to do this myself i've had to try and remember when i switched thumbnails what the previous one was and what the new one is and, and do all this manually this can just all be done automatically for us now which blows my mind i can just set it up and leave it i love it Okay, so before I run you through how to install those first two AI tools from TubeBuddy, I want to draw your attention to this retention graph. So you see on this video here, viewership was dropping quickly, 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 quickly until it got to about here. Then it actually kind of goes up a little bit and the rate at which people are clicking off slows down. People are sticking around for this moment of the video. And what this YouTuber much bigger than me taught me was it's moments like these that the viewers actually cared about a lot more than the rest of the content in the video. So what we can do with these moments here that flatten out in our retention graph is we can actually study them, see what we were talking about at these moments and make new content that we know our audience is interested in to get more views in the future. This is a concept that blew my mind. I found it amazing when this YouTuber with way more subscribers than me, millions of subscribers told me about this concept. It got me really excited about all the new videos I could make on this like informed data that I'm finding. But then I realized to go back through a whole YouTube channel's library of videos and study the graphs like this would take so much time. And that is exactly where this third AI tool comes in. It's called Suggested Shorts. And what this does is it just studies the performance of all your previous videos in the way that I just showed you to find moments of high performance within those retention graphs. So it just takes a few seconds and we can see now it's come up with all of my recent videos and for each video, let's look at this one, for example, it's given me a timestamp. So here it's given me about 25 seconds that performs way higher than usual in that video. I can see here it's at a 69.28% increase at that moment. And it gives me moments like this for all of these videos, which I can then either make complete new videos from, or as the name of this tool suggests, I could make YouTube shorts from this moment. So just think about that. That's potentially tens of hours saved where I would normally be manually scrolling through these retention graphs in one click of a button. This tool has done that for me and found these top performing moments that I can dig through and find ideas for new videos or simply turn these moments into YouTube shorts from the original video. That third AI tool is also so powerful and I'll show you now how to access that. So you can be anywhere in YouTube studio. So the dashboard tab, the content tab, and you'll see this little icon over here, top right corner with that logo on it. And that logo might give things away. If you click that, the tool is actually another tool from TubeBuddy. All three of today's tools are made from TubeBuddy and you access that third suggested shorts tool by clicking on this link here. All of the three tools you've seen in today's video come in a single installation when you sign up to TubeBuddy Legend. There's a link in the description to this video to get set up on TubeBuddy Legend at 50% off the normal rate. TubeBuddy were kind enough to sponsor this video and I'm so grateful they did. I've been a 
diehard fanboy user of TubeBuddy's tools for the last seven years since I've been doing this channel myself. And these new AI tools, I think, are just next level. I love them and I'm so happy they're included in that legend package. So like I said, if you wanna sign up and get these tools too, click the link in the description below to get signed up to TubeBuddy Legend to get all of their newest AI tools. I'll be talking more about AI tools on this channel in the future for YouTubers. So make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tips in that area and there's a playlist here if you click here of all of the previous ai tools that youtubers and video creators will find useful make sure to watch that next